How's it hang loose? Welcome to Mongoose Max Hawaii, the <laughs> channel. <laughs> so many moving parts. I have to. Oh, almost lost my, my uh, timer fit. And uh, yes, my little studio of chaos. Let me calculate. This is my computer. Um, it's Monday. Almost the end of January. It's Aloha Monday. It's my. It's Mongoose Monday. Yeah. <laughs> A little vlog, little news. Um, we read Shakespeare on Sunday yesterday. Uh, we read Merry Wives of Windsor, which has that big Falstaff character. We had a few readers, but a few of them showed up as well. So, um, I wound up reading Falstaff and five other characters. <laughs> oh, we did a little bit part. And so everyone is doing that, you know. And Pete, anyways, you'll see. I'll, I'll post it. But it's only part. We only, only read, like, part of the show. And then, so it's only, it's kind of odd how we're doing it now. But it must be done that way because we can't read the whole play. <laughs> Anyways, that's that's that vlog. The weather's kind of moving about. It died. It rained last night. It rained last night where it woke me up. Rain. I was like, oh gosh, I thought things were going to get soaked inside the, the window. And then when I open up the house, I open up some uh, doors and windows for air to, to get in. In the kitchen, and I heard this big boom, boom, boom. Right outside the kitchen, like, oh! and it was just the gust of wind blowing over a big uh, trash can for leaves. Just like, oh, it's, it's, it was like somebody out there. I'm scared. So, um, yeah, uh, Michael's gonna be going over to a film class thing pretty soon, and uh, we're working on the big editing computer acquisition. And, uh, I don't know. That, I don't know, kind of like a little burnout, though. So, we're, anyhow, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> thanks for subscri- Thanks for liking, thanks for viewing. Like and subscribe. YouTube blows, though. No. <laughs> it does, in a way. It's all, it's gotten corp. YouTube went corporate. Even these small channels are corporate already. Anyways. So, here we go. Um... Yeah, the big news, I guess, is, I don't know, Trump and his campaign, uh, misadventures? What, what do you call this? I don't even know. But it keeps going on. Um, he's out of these court cases. They're, tr they're trying to figure out if they're going to keep him on the ballot in Hawaii. The, the big thing, though, is sit back and I think the main key court decision is going to be the January 6th criminal trial 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 Ooh. when it will be determined whether quote unquote in a court of law proven that he's an insurrectionist rather than people just calling him an insurrectionist and invoking the constitution amendment 14 Section 3, <laughs> no insurrectionist can run for office. So, um, yeah, I think that's going to be the key thing. And whether the Supreme Court does its sweeping uh, decision, whether Colorado can keep them on the ballot or not, and how that affects the other states, which it will, is kind of, I don't know, not the real hammer slam dunk it's that insurrection trial january 6th trial and so that i think is soon i think that's the one that is right by 
uh, Super Tuesday in the election schedule. So, just kind of like wait to see what happens. I'm sure everybody in their mind already picked who they want in their brain. I'm gonna go, but it's not really um what people want, anyways. Let's just go to the Hawaii news. What a well, you know what? I mean, here it is, right here. Oh, look, it's Monday. <laughs> electrical utilities. Okay, let's see what's going on. In Hawaii, electrical utilities could face more regulation. Now, this is what caused the kind Maui fire. So, um, oh, oh, and by the way, Super Bowl, Super Bowl LV11, which is Roman for 50 uh, plus, uh, wait, 10. So, wait, um, V is 5, 8, 58. Thank you, Romans. <laughs> We got the Chiefs and the uh, uh, Kansas City Chiefs and the San Francisco 49ers. I'm not sure. I, I kind of want to root for the Chiefs. But uh, anyways, let's see. Just because the helmet, that's all. Uh, electrical utilities back to this uh, Maui fire. Um, so, um, yeah. I was in the hospital August 3rd and my fire was August 8th. I'm like watching it on the TV and the intensive care kind of thing. Oh my God, that was horrible. So, you know, because of regulations and that might have been the cause of the fire in the first place, that plus natural disaster of wind blowing over old telephone poles um so yeah a lot of it comes down to the electrical company we only got one here and they're gonna pay they're gonna pass the cost off to the customer thanks for nothing a disaster insurance coverage oh my gosh um uh, aerial view oh this is kailua eruption kilauea rather on the big island hundreds of homes look at that lava so all the way over just like just comes in and it goes slow it's super hot. It's molten rock. It's super hot, and it goes slow, but it just yeah, it touch. It comes up. It touches the place, and it burns down. And then, it, if it needs to be, if Madame Pelly decides it so, it just smushes over the house or goes around the house, depending on what ancient Hawaii legends you like to believe. Hurricanes, wildfires, and insurance companies. They go, hey, you can buy the insurance premiums, pay us the premiums, but hell if we're gonna pay out <laughs> okay and football what the heck's happening here Kansas City Chiefs events of give a good good quarterback good turn so he's getting sacked right or something I don't know <laughs> for a second <laughs> whatever I guess you had to have been there so uh, wait that's not even this is the Baltimore Ravens right like Edgar Allan Poe oh this is they beat the Kansas City Chiefs or the I don't know just a weird photo whatever okay you know what just just relax it's like disasters it's monday <laughs> when you want to relax and it's 1989 just go in there and have a seat on the teeth <laughs> oh little kids uh i'm sure this is about you know learning about tooth decay <laughs> An exhibit featuring giant teeth is one of the many hands-on displays of the children in the New Hawaii Children's Museum of Art, Culture, Science, Technology in the Dole Cannery Center. Eat more pineapple, or we go chomp you down. It's like sitting on the teeth like this. <laughs> they should make giant um, cushions, giant beanbag chairs, like a molar. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Oh. And a finger on the oh, what was that? Oh, paddling with a purpose. The news had a lot of why Sunday. Oh, they we go practice canoe. The Alawai, Alawai Poraba. Okay. Oh, political cartoon. The only thing that hit more than bullying is getting on his bad side. So, if you don't want to be bullied, bully the other one. Do what I say on the big. So, now they're portraying him as a big bull. Oh, he is. As a big bull. Please go. 
Please go. He won't leave. Please go. Um. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Ghost Box. What, what the heck's going on on the other side of the Daniel? Oh, I guess we'll do this one. Delving deeper into being scared of Trump. A recent letter asked what the people are scared of from second Donald Trump term. Dane lists the issues. Many reasons not to be scared of Trump. January 20, site article January 25th. As far as energy independence, <clears throat> independence goes, we would be more reliant on foreign oil because of dependence on fossil fuels. With regards to foreign policy, Trump was a friend to the likes of Vladimir Putin, Kim Jong-un, and Benjamin Netanyahu, and his China policy changed depending on which businesses he held a personal stake. He received millions from foreign nationals while in office. I don't consider fair elections to include inciting riots and insurrections and trying to pressure and coerce election officials. He did lower taxes, but mainly for people making over 200000 a year and for people with multi-million dollar legacies. Trump saw a sharp increase in unemployment at the end of his term, but that was due to pandemic. However, it dropped back up down under the President Biden, Richard Valesque Kailua. Oh, Richard. Oh, and that one's like, oh, we shouldn't take him off the ballot. It's deplorable. Oh, thank you, Richard. Um, which way? Oh, go this way. Oh. Yeah. And this uh, OBS Studios kind of working here, I think. It was getting rain soaked last night. I was wondering if it was going to work. So, yeah, the Trumpster, he's done a lot of. Um, I, um, I think there's certain policies, you know, there's immigration, crime, abortion, and a certain attitude, and this core MAGA group and some Republicans are oofing mm -mm about that. That's why he's got such momentum. And he can do whatever he does as long as he's in office making those policies happen. And tax cut for the multi-millionaires? And that one's permanent. We did some type of tax thing for uh, lower class, but it was like temporary. The ones for the ultra rich are just like forever. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, Mm -hmm. But whether he's on the ballot or off the ballot, I don't know. I mean, I think he should be, everyone should have the choice, and that's what the Supreme Court's wrestling with. But after January 6th trial, if he's in court proven insurrectionist or behind it or influencing that, then by constitution, he's out of there. So it's like this weird, monumentously historical upheaval times of this stuff. This is like not normal how America works, but America's gonna get through it. You know, blah blah blah. Anyways, blah 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 and blah blah. Thanks for watching. Okay, aloha. Aloha, look. Gonna be rainy but cool. Aloha, please. Uh, I'm